Hello guys and welcome to a new walkthrough. Uh, this time I'm doing Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Another Square Enix game. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna do an all achievements playthrough for this. And I'm still gonna continue to work on my Final Fantasy IX one. I'm just not really putting much time into it right now but I'm still but I am going to finish it so uh, what I think what I'll do is um, I will kind of mix things up I'll do some episodes of Dragon Quest 11 and then I'll do some of FF9 and I'll keep doing that until FF9 gets completed but right now I'm really loving this game I've put in about I think about 12 hours into this game so far so I have some exper a little bit of experience going into this game I haven't beat the game yet but I'm gonna beat it while I make this walkthrough that's how much I'm enjoying it so we're gonna do an all achievements walkthrough like I said I'm gonna go through all the achievements on Steam and any achievement that I'm that we need to get will get them one step at one step at a time. All right. Well, um, for cutscenes, I'm go. I have a hotkey set up so I can remove my webcam, so that way you guys will be able to view the cutscenes and without my face in the way. And I also, in the description box, I'm also going to include all the items and every and all the um, anything that you can steal off enemies. And basically, anything I do on this in this episode will be in the description with timestamps for you to make it easier for you guys. That's what I always do now. So, ah, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see how this walkthrough turns out. And let's begin. Obviously we have to create a new adventure. This is where I was in my, um, I was level 11. With a, oh, I have 9 hours playtime. That's how much playtime I have. But, I'm gonna have to <laughs> remove all that progress because I have to create a new game. So, I, I'm gonna start with the third slot. And if things are going well, I will start just using up these slots instead, once I make it past my old progress. So obviously I'm gonna make my name Zailed. Alright. Zailed. And start. I'm playing this on PC with 1440p resolution and a controller instead of mouse and keyboard. As uh, this game works well with the controller. And this is my display bright brightness settings. Um, depending on your monitor, these settings may not look good for you. So it's, on my monitor, it looks, looks awesome. An adventure lock successfully created. All right, I'm going to remove my webcam here. Oh, 
this child. He is the one. There's the mark. There's no mistaking it. And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? <laughs> You're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. Thanks so much, you're a lifesaver. Okay, turn my uh, webcam back on. Since we're playing now. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Well, there's still some comment. <sighs> Terry, I guess. So it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? I don't really want to talk too much during... <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Yeah, I don't really want to talk too much during when the uh, characters are talking, because then my voice gets in, in the way of the characters talking. Which might be a, li a little distracting to some people that want to listen to... The characters talk. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, my my key set right, or did they uh put everything on default? System camera controls. All right, so here's the thing: max it at ten, and max it at ten. Trust me. <laughs> You want speed. Everything's too slow without that at 10. 
we'll keep it at a default. Uh, graphics, I personally have maxed out, except for anti-aliasing, because I don't really like anti-aliasing. Aliasing with um, 1440p monitor, you don't really need it um, that much, to be honest. Um, everything else is maxed out though. Shadow, frame rate, and V-Sync should always be off, because it's terrible. You never want V-Sync on. Um, there's actually a way to unlock the the um, FPS so that you can go beyond 60 FPS in this game. And if anyone wants to know how, wants to know how to do that, I'll, I will um, tell you in the comments below, and I'll also include it in my description. You know the mater and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? Don't keep them waiting, dear. Oh, and remember, if you're ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. Just press X and look at the map, you can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use- Ugh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm using a PS4 controller, but it's telling me Xbox controls because it's a PC and, and um, PCs recognize the PS4 controller as an Xbox controller. But. So that's why my controls are all all look like they're Xbox controls. Zeld, seeing you, my dear Gemma, all set for the big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. You are not kids anymore, you know? No, you've grown up now, and that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time you were on your way, head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, and come back down, tales tell you like the view. Oh, and if you ever unsure what to do next, Try press a triangle and selecting party talk. Gemma might have some useful tips for you. Just look at you, Zayl, my little boy, all grown up. Now be sure to look after Gemma, you hear? To you think you've been inseparable since you were tiny and here you are about to climb the tour together. Oh, and if you ever lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's more s that, do that dog's got more sense than any of us. Off you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine, and I'll make sure there's a delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Let's be on our way. We'll head up here, follow Sandy the dog. The doji. Oh, this guy is where you save your game. Except, uh, we can't save your game right now. Okay, so we're ready. Head up here. I remember our first battle was with slimes. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tor, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then, that craggy old thing won't climb its- Oh! Alright, here we go, our first battle is slimes. So if you hold the um, X button, I think it was, on PS4, you can actually move around free roam. The thing um, I'm really disappointed about- oh, I forgot to equip. Uh, Alright, we'll have to do this after this battle. The thing I'm really disappointed about is it doesn't appear to really have any, any use. It would be- I was hoping they would kind of make like Chrono Trigger where you would be able to... Like different spells would be able to... Or different positions would be able to um, attack different targets depending on where you're aiming by uh, free roaming. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. What I mean. 
Slime B is paralyzed. Oh, that's because of charm. You're the high I think I believe it's charm that the higher you're charmed, enemies have a chance to be paralyzed. Medical herb. Well medicinal herb, but I call it medical herb. Crikey! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Okay, so here's what I forgot to do. Huh, hopefully I can get this uh, a second time. System settings and claim special rewards. Yeah, I can. Okay, good. So I can keep getting it even if I start a new game. And we get healer. This stuff's gonna be pretty good. Depending on what you pre-ordered, you can actually get even more stuff. Oh, awarded for collecting 10 different types of items. What? Maybe it's counting from what I did in my other save file too, I guess. That's weird. Uh, we want to start off with the uh, greatsword because it does more damage and early game is very easy so we don't really need a we don't really need a sword and shield combo right now we want to put this on and we want to put the bandana on we want to put a healer and supplicant on all right that's our setup then we want to go over here and we want to grab the uh, pot lid i believe it is if I remember correctly, it's the pot lid, right? Yeah, it is. That's a shield. But like I said, we're not using sword and shield early in the game. We're going to be using greatsword. It does more damage, and we don't really need the extra defense, so might as well get more damage. Alright, so I think that's all I wanted to show you guys for now. If I remember what else comes to mind. But that's good for now. Oh, we also want to get some level up. We want to level up a bit. So we're probably going to kill some slimes and unlock our first spell, which I believe is called Sizzle or Frizzle. Get this here, Medical Herb, and be on our way. This is a oh yeah, we can also preemptive attack. That's right. Okay, so we can preemptive preemptive attack by going up and pressing X button and preemptive attack. And since we have supplicate on, it's actually going to heal our MP. So once we learn Frizzle, we'll be able to regenerate some MP without having to use MP items to heal our MP or sleeping. And sup and um supplicant. Was it supplicant? Blighters, aren't they? Yeah, the healing one. Uh, regenerates their HP. So HP I think regenerates to 3 and MP regenerates to 1 at least right now anyway. Because I'm a little level. Okay. So. Yeah, see I'm killing so much faster with this great sword instead of that stupid sword. Alright, let's go. I think your preemptive attacks uh, also get strong when you level up. Yeah, they do. Depending on your weapon as well. If you have a better weapon, you'll be able to insta-kill. Or you'll be able to um, do a lot more damage. You can insta-kill the, the weaker Tough monsters, but <laughs> well done. not the harder ones. Okay, our charm went up. And we learned Frizz, so Frizz was our first uh, spell. Alright, so there's Frizz. Singes a single enemy with a small fireball. Let's uh, skip these slimes and attack this new uh, monster over here. Two of them. There's another spell that we can learn after Frizz. Um, the next offensive spell, which does allows you to multi-attack. Okay, my character is a little bit overpowered. Holy crap. I'm one-shotting everything. Well, I told you, this is early game. It's really easy. Phew. 
few what? That wasn't even <laughs> much of a threat. Let's try our first spell. Even the dog one shot them. Slime drop. Okay, let's go up. I'm gonna go up here. Yes, I see you, Sandy. What's over here? Ah, break these pots. And get a medical herb. And five gold coins. And then there's uh, that location there. Sandy's over here, so let's follow the dog. It's gonna lead us straight to where we have to go, which is the boss, I believe. Copper ore, that's gonna be needed for crafting. Ah, there we go. Let's kill this thing. Get more experience. I think I one-shot just, just my blade. Yeah, I don't really need to use magic on it. Ah, oh, he healed himself? What? <laughs> Why would you heal yourself? It's probably the worst thing you can do. Because you were full HP already. That didn't make any sense. I don't think there's anything over here, right? No. Alright. Do you think? Core. Help! Help me! <gasps> Cole! Ah, ah! Ah! Quick! You have to help him! Yeah, it's not really a boss fight. These guys become normal enemies after in the uh, later in the, a little bit later in the game, not that far actually. They're good practice anyway. Um, I think my spell frizz does no. I don't remember. Does it do more damage on this thing? Let me try frizz. Eleven damage. Let me try my great sword attack. Sandy miss. <laughs> All right, great sword attack. Ah. Maybe I should stick to Frizz. These guys seem to have good evasion. What are you barking at? Hmm? Alright, I'm gonna finish him off, okay? There you go. He did, he did. He's dead. Hey, you hit him with your attack. Nice. <laughs> Let me try my attack. Seven damage. Eh. Not that much. Yeah, you bark at him. Paralyze his ass. <laughs> good, good job, Sandy. He fears your bark. The smugs are defeated. You. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I, I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes Gemma. Sorry Gemma. <laughs> You saved my bacon again. I knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. All right. 
Let's get a move on, she says. Uh, yeah. First thing, we, we should uh probably look around and grab some items so we don't miss anything. It's kind of important to um, find materials. Okay, so here's how to move around. Here's how to efficiently move around the camera. You have your L1 button and you have your R1 button, which actually mo moves a little bit quicker than the analog stick does. So you see how the right analog stick, see how slow that moves? Now if I hold R1, look how much faster that is. So with your middle finger on L2 for sprinting and your um, inde index fingers on L1 and R1 for turning, plus the analog stick, you can um, you can uh, move around and really fast and look around. And then also, um, when you look around, you can also use the um, R3 button for for lock on. So let's say if I'm facing this way and I press R3, it's gonna instantly turn me there. So uh, here I am running around, and I, I'm gonna turn around like this. I'm gonna press R3. Uh, I'm gonna press R3. Turn around R3, and it, that's how you can um, get around the. Um, the game faster and easier is using the L1, R1, and and R3 for instant looking in direction. All right. So now with uh, those uh, that movement tip out of the way, let's uh, proceed with. The main story here. I don't think there's um. Oh, actually, there might be something. I don't. I don't remember if there's an item or not up here. I think we're coming close to the end of this part, actually. So there might not really be anything. Yeah, it's just right up here. This is the end. All right. Here we are at last. It's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? What? What was that? of lightning it was almost like you made it happen We can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, 
Let it be so forevermore. It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. All right, well, that's that. Well, let's see, there's anything else over here? I think there's, uh, no? I thought I remember there being an item here somewhere. Or is that just me? Eh, oh, there it is, aha. I knew there was something here, pink pine. Zale and Gemma make their way back to the bottom of the tour. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that was a quick way to get down. Uh, I'm not talking to you guys. We need we have to talk to the pink bubbles. That's the uh, Those are the main guys to talk to One down here on, on the radar you see the pink little ball We're back safe and sound granddad Indeed you are my dear Thank the spirits for that when we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it, the spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. I'm still young. And the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Come on, you. Home time. Hmm. All right, awarded for a second. Oh, yeah, we get an achievement for that. Let's talk to this guy here. So the ceremony is all done, congratulations. Now don't tell me you have forgotten where you live and all the excitement. Just follow the paving stones, you'll soon find your way back. Ooh, but you must be tired. You must be tired to be forgetting that. You should lead home. You should head home and put your feet up. All right, so first thing, we're not gonna head home right away. We're just gonna climb up here and, oh, I thought that was a robot first. Even though I've done this before. I remember it's this really long ass ladder. It's freaking climbing the freaking mountain with the ladder. <laughs> Jeez. Well, at least it's not a rope. That would have been a workout for him. Seven gold coins. 
copper co copper ore and seed of agility. Not bad. I don't think there's anything else around here. No. You can land over here, but it's pretty pointless. I can right on here. But there's nothing around here that's really worth it, so. I'm gonna jump! Alright. So let's go find some items. We have. Alright, so can I view my map now? Let's see. Mm, I can view it, but I can't. There's um, a special feature after. But we don't have it unlocked yet, so I can't show you it. Uh, these books are gonna play an important role after. When you unlock the crafting system, you can learn recipes from some books. Not all not all the books though, but some books will be able to teach you recipes. And break these barrels to get a medical herb. And then we're gonna jump up on this roof here. And get an item. Then the other roof has a flurry feather which we need for a quest. So press square and you see that pink bubble is the main character but there's also a quest around here somewhere. Um, I don't think we can access it just yet. We have to progress just a little bit more. And I think we, we can unlock it once we talk to his mother. And then it'll show the quest icon. So the um, that quest is going to tell us to get a, a flurry feather which we can find up up um, above one of these roofs. Yes, yes, Andy, I know you want to take me home. But before we do that, let's uh, break here, get an antidote herb, and... There it is, the furry feather is way up there. We get that by hopping this rooftop over here. And there should be the furry feather. No, that's pink pine. Okay, the furry fe feather, that means, is on that roof over there. Okay. So we'll get, go across and grab this one. Now this one for sure is a flurry feather. Yeah, that's right, okay. Then there's a chest over here. What the hell? Oh my god. What an awkward place for a chest. Keep walking over it. And then there's this platform so you fall down. <laughs> wow. All right, so let's go. Um, I'll be there in a second, Sandy. Calm down. I think it might be this way, actually. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it's this way. <laughs> Cypress stick. Spots here, and we get five go gold coins. <laughs> and then um, by this lake down here is one. There's an item up on top of the waterfall there. We can get that by, I think you cross this bridge. And we head over up here. Okay, so behind this house it must be. Oh, nope, I went home. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go home first, I guess. Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here, this belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, 
There's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Zell tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. Alright, so let's open this drawer. I think we get clothes. Plain clothes, yep. Break some barrels. Get a medical herb. Oh man, this game really loves to give you medical herbs. <coughs> Was there anything up here I don't remember? We still have to get that item that I wanted to get, before, but I went inside this house, forget, without realizing that it was um, Buddy's house over here. What's the main character's original name supposed to be anyway? They make you choose a name, but I don't know. Yeah, here's where you gotta go around here and over here. Now we can get the item that I wanted to originally get. Which is hidden over here. Fresh water. Alright, now we can talk to um, that lady, that girl. My best friend. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? Gemma. You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star, and he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. I know, that's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand, really I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> yeah, goodbye.
Exhausted after his long day, Zayod finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. <laughs> well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Uh, okay. I don't think I really plan on buying anything right now. Alright. So let's go, um, let's go see what items they have anyways in store. Okay, so we can do that side quest that I was talking about, which is the purple bubble and on the radar. The little mini-map. This one here. Deary, deary me, what am I going to do? Oh, if it isn't Young Zil, you came along. You came along at just the right time. I've got a favor to ask you. See, the other day I was playing with my lad, you know, messing around as you do. Well, anyway, he's got this furry feather that he loves. And well, fool that I am, I meant to let it blow away. Luckily, wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I'd go get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights, I'm afraid. Anyway, I know you're a brave young fellow, so I was wondering if you'd mind clambering up there and getting it back for me. You'd be doing me a huge favor, I'm telling you. You've been asked to undertake a quest, will you? Yes, okay. I'll take the request. I knew you'd help me. I already have it. So here, take it. Zeld accepts the people's friend quest. There you are, Zeld, and looks like you've got the feather. <laughs> Would you mind letting me have it? Zild hands over the flurry feather. Thanks, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I can't wait to see the look in the boy's face. Oh, and before I forget, here's a little something in return. Zild receives a sleeping hibiscus. Hibiscus? The hell's that? And that's not all. I've got a tip for you. I hope you'll find it useful. If you ever want to do someone a good turn, look for the purple speech bubble above their head. Listen to what they have to say and see if you can do anything to help. It always pays to be kind to others, but don't feel that just because someone shared their woos with you, you have to help them. Right away, you can always come back when you want a little change of pace, or if you're not sure what to do next. Anyway, thanks again, Sealed. I really owe you one. Now, just remember, whatever is waiting for you up ahead, be kind to others, and you'll do just fine. Quest complete. Alright. Well, thank you. That was some helpful advice that I didn't really need. I heard all about it from your mother. She said that there's an important journey you have to make, and you're just a youngster. Well, before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know where it is, of course, down the slope across the river. Once you've stalked up, head up to the village entrance to the north. Well, I'll be waiting to see you off. Okay. Okay, so if you open up the uh, map here, you can see the shop is that little icon right. Uh, we'll zoom in, and it's right over here. The little icon in that building there, that's the shop. So let's head right there. Here we go. Let's see what you have in store. Alright, cypress stick. Don't really need that. Uh, bandana. Wait for his clothes. I can get those easy. Alright, so basically we don't need anything. Nice. Alright, we can not buy anything. We don't really need anything from that shop. So the one thing that we can do next is head right to the church, right over here. Oh, open. Hey, where's the church music? That's not the church music. 
Uh, break these barrels, get antidote herb. Antidote herb. Oh, that that's not open yet. It it opens after, and we get something in there. Yes. Now we can save it. Okay, we saved our game. Now head the map, and we have to head to Heliodor, so we have to make a left turn, right, and follow this path right up here. And this is where everyone's waiting for us. <coughs> yes, I'm ready to go. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. To think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in 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 I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the Luminary was, of course. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, Put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. <laughs> this shit always got me good. Receives map of Erdria. Here's my fist. May this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? Come back safe. Goodbye. Wait. Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. All right, horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time, but you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair, though. A ring on one of the many summoning bells dotted around Erdria will soon bring your faithful friend Galloping Bat to your side. Ah, this is what we gotta do. Off. 
and talk to this guy. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Here's what he tells you, basically. Press square. And now we can press the X button. And we get this. This is what I was waiting for. Okay, so we have maps of nearby areas. We can press X on that. You see Elidor is right up to the north. And right down to the west side, uh, the east side, we have uh, Emerald Coast. Closer to the southeast. And the Mango Grove to the southwest. And then we have Cobblestone right down south, all the way where we came from. So basically we're supposed to be heading to, heading to Eliodor, so we're going to head all the way up north. And we're going to stop at a campsite right dead center of the map. Now we have nearby quest, which is nothing. We have sparkly spots. These are all the items that we're going to collect. And um, once you collect an item, it's going to tell you the item you've collected in, where the question mark is. So any item that you haven't collected would be a question mark. Once you've collected an item, it's gonna, you will forever have that item up above, up in this area, located in the sparkly spot section of the world map. So let's collect the first item, and I'll show you an example here. You know, gallop all the way up here. First item is right to our left. It's uh, should be somewhere. I think it's... let me get off this horse. Should be over here, I believe. There it is. That's the Chimera win. The first item. Now, once you uh, press the... where's my horse? Once you press the square button, X button, and go to Spark Spots, Chimera wing shows up right there. Now, here's a bunch of question marks. We still have to collect all those Sparkly Spots. And nearby quests will show us any quests that um, are nearby, but we'd obviously they show up on a radar too. So it's still pretty useful to have anyway, just in case. And now we can see what uh, sparkly spots we are missing down home before we uh, save our game one last time. So let's go head home. And we'll just, uh, I'm just going to finish off the home area completely. We have to come back here very shortly anyway, um, very soon, after sometime after Heliodor. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. There's a sparkly spot. I don't think I got that one. Did I? I don't remember grabbing that one. Maybe I did. I think I did all the rooftop ones in there. No, I definitely didn't grab this one. Medical herb. Okay. Square, sparkly spots. Okay, we have them all now. Medical herb, pink pine, flurry feather, and fresh water. That's all the sparkly spots in this uh, area. So let's head um, west uh, in the middle here. Make a west turn. Open the church. Oh, there's the church music now. It decides to play. <laughs> Alright, adios. I'm out of here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.